How's it going guys? It's Rejunkie here. Today's video we're going to be talking once again about the Amazon uh, Fire tablet. This is the 5th gen 7 inch tablet that I've been doing quite a few videos on along with a super tool and some cool things. So today I realized that we have not done any video about factory reset. How to factory reset the device. So today that's what we're going to cover. Um, first way I want to show you how to do it is through settings. So if your device is booting up and you want to factory reset it, you can go in and do it this way. So you just go to device options and then right here, factory reset to default. This removes all personal data, downloaded content from your fire. So very, very simple to do, very, very easy. Okay, that's the simple method. Now, for some reason, if your device isn't booting up and you wanna restore it, I will show you the hard way or the way through stock recovery. So as you can see here, I do have some things already installed on it and I've been using this device. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, power it off and go ahead and show you how to boot into stock recovery to reset from stock recovery. Once your Amazon Fire is uh, powered off, like you can see mine is here. Hello. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hold some buttons. So you, you have your volume buttons over here on this side and you have your power button up here. We're gonna hold the volume down button, which is the far uh, left button. So we'll go ahead and hold it down and then hold down power. And this is where it gets a little tricky because it looks like this isn't gonna work and you're like, it's not doing anything, it's not doing anything. And then you see this and you're like, oh, it didn't go to recovery, bummer. Don't worry about that, just keep holding it and shabam there you go amazon system recovery so from here you can see we have uh, recovery up and functioning which is awesome and there's quite a few options here and different things you can do but really we want to talk about wipe data factor reset so the way you navigate this is you use your uh, volume up button which is the one on the right and it'll allow you to scroll through all of your options and and you just have to highlight something Okay, you can go back up with the, the volume uh, down button on the left here. So we're going to go down to wipe data factory reset. We're going to select that and we're going to scroll down to delete all user data. Again, like I said, this is the wipe out everything, pictures, all your stuff on your device, the factory reset it if you wanted to sell it, maybe because it has a virus or it was not running right or you just want it back to stock system. Whatever you want to do, this should do that for you. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. What happens is you don't see it up on top, but I'll move it up for you guys. Right there, you get the wipe data. So there you go. Everything's complete. That was a pretty quick process. As you can see, not a big deal at all. Now, if you're having problems with your device just running slow, sometimes it's a good idea just to do this and reset it up, and that'll help speed up your device. That's, that's a good key. Another thing you can do is you can wipe just cache, and that'll free up some space on the device as well, which is another good thing you can do. Um, if you uh, want to know about more of these options, we have apply AD, uh, update from ADB. Um, I show a video on that separately. I'll try to link it to you in the video description. Otherwise, you can reboot to bootloader mode, which is the fast boot mode, um, which you've seen in other videos as well. Uh, you can power down or you can view the log uh, from the recovery. So at this point, you're done. You've wiped data, you've wiped cache, because wipe data factory set does both. And we can go ahead and reboot system. So first reboot is going to take some time. As you can see, the device is now rebooting. And like I said, the first reboot takes some time. Um, could take anywhere from five to 10 minutes because you've just wiped out the device. It's trying to re kind of set itself up as it goes through the first boot up process once you do the wipe data factory set. And then we will have to go through, you know, registering with Amazon, you know, resetting up your device, logging into Wi Fi, downloading your applications, anything else you want to do with it to get it functional once more for you. Now, I do want to point out, if you've rooted your device and you've done all this crazy modification stuff to it and you wipe data factory set, it's not going to remove anything you did to the system part of the device. So root access is achieved on system level. So if you wipe data factory set, you will not remove root. If you've done modifications in system and you wipe data factory set, it will not remove that either. Um, this is mainly for those other issues, just normal use, it'll factor reset it for you. But if you've done modifications to your system, the only way to get those completely gone is to flash the firmware. And you do that with that apply um, 
update from ADB we saw in recovery. And again, I have a video on how to do that. I'm just gonna let it finish optimizing. It says it could take up to 10 minutes right there to complete. And we'll come back to show you it's done. All right, it looks like we are booting up. It's got a little bit of a screen lag there and shabam, there you go. This is the initial setup process. Very, very awesome. Now, quick note, if you are in fast boot mode and you need to boot into recovery, go check out my super tool for the Amazon Fire 5th gen. It has a little trick from fast boot mode you can run a little batch script that will boot you into recovery from fast boot mode. So if you need that, you're stuck in fast boot mode, you gotta check that out. It's the second script in the script in the tool, and uh, it's a very neat little trick that I found in the bootloader on how to do that. So check that out. I uh, hope you guys have liked this quick video here on factory setting the Amazon Fire 5th gen. Uh, please uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Obviously, subscribe to YouTube here for more videos on this device. I'm hoping to do a AOSP ROM review. I think that's another ROM that's available for this device uh, very soon. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.